everyone, and we're back. This is Miss Scarlet Tanager with some Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1 under Wills or Mock. When we last left off, um, Albedo was being a creep. Now, I've done a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of off-screen grinding and stuff. We've opened another segment address and got a robot head. Now we have a body and a head to turn into the professor. We're going to do that before we go on to Pro Term Merkaba in the end of the game. Oh, professor, I have a present for you. If the game will load. There we go. Professor's Giant Robot Training Hall, Chapter 4. Episode Crisis, a dark shadow befalls the robot lab. This was the last straw. Oh no. Looks like somebody's a little pissed. There seems to be a commotion. What happened? Oh, my desk just broke. That's what's happened. What happened? He's just an assistant and he dares to defy me, the professor. I said what I said because I'm worried about you. Oh, god damn it. It may be possible to bring things under control if you would explain the situation. Assistant Scott here has forgotten his position as an assistant and is ordering me to quit drinking. Um, then maybe you should quit drinking. You guys talk to him and help me put him in his place. I used to admire you, Professor, but lately all you do is drink all day. You haven't been doing any research. Eh, there's, a, there's a good point there. Under the circumstances, there's an 82.256 chance that the professor is at fault. <laughs> what? You agree with him? Grr, it's your fault for saying incoherent things, Assistant Scott. You stupid telltale. Stupid? Did you just call me stupid? If I'm stupid, then you're stupid, stupid. <laughs> this is a stupid conversation. <laughs> and Cosmos thinks so too. Now I'm mad. I'm very, very mad now. You are dismissed. That's fine with me. I'm sick of being your assistant. You just go enjoy your liquor. Well then, if you'll excuse me. Well, I'm gonna have to fix this, aren't I? Yep. Considering his importance and his low probability of returning on his own, I recommend you try to stop him. <laughs> oh, Cosmos. Just leave him alone. He'll eventually come crying back. He'll beg to me, Professor, please forgive me. More importantly, you brought more robot parts today, right? I'll get to work on those. Hey. I mean, you probably can't do too much without Scott. Oh, the head. These are the robot parts. I brought a chest piece, you son of a bitch. Here we go. Begin transformation. Apparently he wants to deal with the headpiece first. Okay. How's that? The super rest weapon surfing bird is complete. We'll set this up as an ether technique for Shion. Because I hate you. Why? Get why? 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 I don't. I don't want. Fuck you, Professor. <sighs> Always set up the good ether attacks for Shion, even though I don't use Shion. We're gonna need the stuff for the end of the game anyway, though. There you go. Stop breaking, desk. I'll just super glue you back together. Gorilla glue. So we should have one more. There we go. This is Giant Robot Training Hall. Final chapter, part one. Part one. Episode of Friendship in Crisis. Great. Professor, we have sexually, successfully obtained the last robot part. Oh, good job! Now I can complete the giant robot I've yearned for! Um, duh. I sense irregularities in your beta wave. Are you worried about your assistant? <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I've already forgotten about that ungrateful assistant. More importantly, hurry up and hand over the last robot part. Let's complete that invincible robot we I've dreamed of. Hey. Understood. Just to confirm your answer, are you sure you do not want to commence a search for the assistant? Oh, Cosmos, you speak funny. It doesn't matter! Come, let's start working! Okay. <laughs> These are the robot parts that you brought. Here we go. Begin transformation! I'm just going to bash this computer monitor screen and things are going to do stuff. Because that's how we do science, right? Mm 
Ooh. How is that? A, s a central section for the giant robot is the Kelbim Dragon is complete. Just remember, the Kelbim Dragon is a joint part of the robot, so unfortunately you won't be able to summon it during battles. Wait, what? Son of a bitch. Okay, so can I, can I, can I, what about the actual, there we go, I was going to say, what about the actual giant robot? Well, 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 now that the six kinds of robot parts are finally here, I'll set about c completing the giant robot! If Assistant Scott had defied me, he would be present at this historic moment! Oh, well, I'll just forget about him and get started! Now, just you watch, set transformation! What? Oh, great. Yep. I'm gonna have to go find the assistant. I'm calling it now. Yep, he broke it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew this would happen. The most important thing in creating a giant robot is the power of friendship. This isn't my little pony. This is Xenosaga. For fighting so much with assistant Scott, I'm unworthy of creating a giant robot. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Friendship and justice, I knew that one could never be a <laughs> So now we have to go find Assistant Scott. <laughs> Good thing I already know where he is. <sighs> this is this is the most ridiculous side quest, I swear to god. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It just made of just but, what? Okay, Scott. Let's go get Scott. Come on, Scott. I'm gonna go get you. Because we need a giant robot so we can go to Proto Merkaba, so we can go through Proto Merkaba, so we can beat the bosses in Proto Merkaba, so we can beat the game. And I can get on to the next one. Which, by the way, is gonna be Final Fantasy IX. I've already recorded three hours of it. Oh, Scott, where did you go? It's not over here. Oh, wait. Hi, Scott. Damn it, damn it. Why does the professor understand? Why would he listen to my opinions? Are you drunk? You're drunk. I'm, I'm, I'm just worried about the professor, that's all. Damn, I need a drink. Damn, I'm sacred. Eccentric, hard-headed geezer. I don't care anymore. I'll regret it later when he's all alone. He is all alone. The professor can't do anything by himself. He really can't do anything without me. He's probably having problems right now. The professor might even be crying. Damn, I know he's but I can't just leave the professor all by himself. Professor, just hang in there. I'm coming to help you. God damn it. <sighs> is he going to take me automatically back there? Please tell me he takes me automatically back. Please tell me he takes me automatically back. I want to walk that distance again. Yes! Professor's giant robot training all. Final chapter, part two. The friendships are fr Oh god, it is my little pony! Erdei Kaiser is here! Yay! We have found him restrained the target! I love you, Cosmos. Never change. Ha! What a meddlesome thing to do! It seems that it would be better to release him. Well, whatever! Come, Assistant Scott, get to your station quickly! We have a big once in a lifetime job to do! In this instance, I do not sense any need for Assistant Scott to cooperate with the Professor. <laughs> yes, sir! Roger that, Professor! And you. Da -da -da. I'm glad you're back. Aww. Look, Cosmo says, you know, there's not really any reason for you to actually cooperate with this guy. He's kind of a. He's kind of a dick. <laughs> Begin transformation! I'm gonna get a giant robot. I'm gonna get a giant robot. Oh my god, now they're going to have their inner monologues. The academy should be safe in Assistant Scott's hands. Professor, you're definitely the greatest. There's so much! Just such a bromance! Such a bromance between these two. As a robot! It's a Gundam. A very, 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 very brightly colored Gundam. 
Behold, love, courage, justice, victory, friendship, effort! The symbol of all such things, united and invisible, absolutely just, the Erde Kaiser! Hey! So I have... So I have a thing? Is it for Shion? What do you think? The incarnation of my dream! The Erde Kaiser will never lose! Hey! Scott, what do you think about this? A lot has happened between the professor and me, but in the end, he's the greatest. He's a great scientist. I'll continue to work for him. Until he starts drinking again. <laughs> okay, this was properly set up as an Aether for Shion, right? Fuck you, Shion. Mm -hmm. Yep, Erde Kaiser. Okay. Now we can go on to saving our game again. And go into the Proto Merkaba. And go towards the end of the game. Proto Merkaba. I've seen the ending of this game so many times that I can pretty much recite it from memory. And it keeps running through my head right now because I know we're getting close. <laughs> Mostly because that, 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 that certain characters have really fun lines. But now, on to the Durandal, then to the Elsa, then to Proto Merkaba. Come on. And I swear to God, if any more of the cutscenes freeze, because I'm not currently using my friend's copy, I'm using mine unless it starts doing that, pulling that bullshit again with the cutscenes. Then I'm going to switch to the other disc and hope that it works. <laughs> oh, playing old old used copies of games I like used games but only when they're well taken care of Ugh. okay let's go this way Okay. Should be a save button on the other end. Save game. <sighs> oh wait, no, not yet. One more thing. One more thing needs to be done because it's a final dungeon. It's going to have fights. Heal me. Oh yeah. I have been healed. Okay. Mm now I save over this one. Good. Okay. Now we go onwards. To adventure. And saving the world. I'm going to put on a cara. And I'm speaking really fucking weird. Okay. Hi, Matthews! Ready to go every time? I can take you to Proto Merkaba right now if you want. Well, let's go to Proto Merkaba. We're launching the Elsa. Sorry. I didn't mean for you to get pulled into my personal issues. Let's get Junior. Don't worry about it. After all, my homeland is in peril. Yeah. And we've received company approval. Proto Merkaba could blow up Milsha. So it's okay, right, Allie? Second Milsha, I should say. Oh, sure. Why would I want to miss out on the fun? <laughs> Sorry, it's not like you ever listened to me. Nope. What was that? Yep. If you've got something to say, say it. She, he did, and uh, you're no, just a I'd bitch, I'd accompany you to the very depths of hell. Hey, what are you trying to do, jinx us? <laughs> so, getting in won't be difficult, right? Right. There should be no external anti-air defenses, since it was originally constructed as a manufacturing facility. No <laughs> knows However, everything about this place. Security on the inside is most likely still functional. We should be prepared to deal with many active guard machines. Mary, what about the reinforcements from 2nd Milsha? The space-bound units were destroyed in the first blast. It looks like there's a few more on their way, but they won't get here in time. By the way, Proto Merkaba did a huge blast and destroyed us. pretty much everything. Looks like it. Guinan. More that you missed I'm during the cutscene that froze. Us. Until we get inside. 
I have a request of my own as well. Don't let his provocations get to you again. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. I'll be careful. You don't have to worry. Seeing as Junior has the most promise. dangerous power of any of the URTVs. Don't do anything foolish, little master. ECM levels at maximum. Elsa, you have clearance. Got it. Tony! Aye, sir! Go, Tony! <laughs> Damn straight you are. <laughs> they have their priorities in order. We did hazard pay for this, right? <laughs> Proto Merkaba is pointed right at second Milsha. And it's kind of like a Death Star. About the same size as the Death Star.